Welcome to Sally Change, you guys, Hayden here, and welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Oh my gosh, I just like <laughs> slipped. I was sitting inside the car. What is happening? It is a rainy day today. Hurricane Hillary is here in Southern California, but where I am, it's not really raining too intensely yet. Um, it's pretty like mild so far. Like it had, it has like bouts of like raining harder. And then right now actually it stopped raining. Of course it stopped raining the second I got into the car, but I have to drop off some stuff to be ready to shipped out to get shipped out next week and I probably won't be able to go tomorrow which is on Monday and so I'm going to go right now while the weather is still pretty mild and I might hit up like a thrift store or two on the way there and back uh, if it's not crazy but we're not doing any crazy driving today um, it always gets crazy when it starts drizzling here and in Southern California, people just like, they get crazy when there's even a drop of moisture in the air when we're driving. So I just want to hit up a couple spots that are nearby and then we'll head back home before it gets dark. Mom's making this really delicious, like it's, uh, I don't know if it's Filipino necessarily, but it's like a Filipino soup and it's really, really good. It's, uh, what is the name of it? I can't remember the name right now. I'll, I'll tell you guys later when I remember. But let's head out before the rain starts up again. Okay, I am inside Marshall's. Looking at the pillows. There's like another Hocus Pocus pillow that I'm looking for. That's like Sanderson Sisters, but don't see it yet also so far no hello kitty it's cute there was like this one iridescent crystal store that i saw at a store that was really cute Ooh, glittery they have croc or crocs <laughs> doc martens 80 bucks size 10 those are fun these look like Bottegas, but these are not. They're big. I wonder if there's any other Doc Martens. I don't see any. Okay, Michael Kors, Kate Spade, Dunia Burke. Ooh, it's this little coffee pumpkin spice latte that's cute. Oh, we got some crust. Some more Kate Spade. Oh, this coach is cute. How much? One thirty. Steve Madden. Her short backpack. Why do they have the cutest mugs, even if none of them are Sanrio? Like this kitty cat is adorable. That is so stinking cute. That kind of looks like Jack Skellington, the ghost, cat, pumpkin. Oh, do I need to go all out with the mugs this year? They do have a lot of Snoopy stuff though. Yeah, lots of Snoopy stuff, but don't see any Hello Kitty stuff yet. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys are tired of me looking for Hello Kitty stuff. I'm sorry. These salt and pepper shakers are so cute. Oh, they crusade. Oh. 10 bucks? That's, that's not bad. <laughs> oh, these stud. Stub. Stud. That's bad. Stub. Pieces are beautiful. 30 bucks. I feel like that's not bad. They also have these, but I don't, I don't need these. But these are cute to hold like your utensils and stuff. But these are nice. But I don't need those either. I have a lot. 
This is really cute though. That's super cute. <gasps> Witch's brew. Stop it. The big shop. That is also cute. Five ninety nine. Oh, that is. Why am I whispering? I don't know why. <gasps> Do I need more of these? These are adorable also. This is kind of cool. 15 bucks. Interesting. That is also pretty cool. I'm trying to see if there's any more of those mushroom faces though. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, this is kind of cool. I kind of like this. $5.99. These are like so affordable. I feel like those are like that's like the price that would be at um at the Goodwill. Oh look at this lady right here. Um, how much is she though? Oh she's only 20 bucks. She looks very much like the one from Anthropology. She's kinda cute. Kinda like that. I don't see any mushrooms though. I do see a spider. Some dogs. Okay, these little ghosts are super cute. Seven ninety nine. That is adorable. Oh, I saw this at my store. Look, look at the lips. I wonder if there is another section. Oh, the owl. These rocks. I feel like Eliza would enjoy one of these very much. I don't know if I should get this blue one or this like blue and green one. Like, this is really big. Hmm. And I went through all of these blankets, unfortunately. There's no Hello Kitty. But I did find this cauldron. I need to find the price. I think it's $16 maybe because the other ones were. But this is the only one that was this color. So. We shall see. Can someone please tell me why I want to buy this mug specifically for the keychain charm? It's eight bucks. It's so cute. The mushroom. And it has little leaves. Ugh. Luckily, uh, we got really good parking, literally right in front, but there's a Goodwill. This is the one in orange, so let's go inside and check it out. Okay, the music is just a little bit loud, but, oh. <laughs> let's see if we can find any cool bags, though. Oh, they still have this fake, uh, Celine. What is this? Banana Republic bag, little map bag, Philippus Egbert. That is a Nine West bag. Okay, we just brought these cards out. I wonder if there's anything inside. Whoops. That thing is just empty with fingers. Oh, Squishmallow. Let's see. Frozen. Oh, there's Sally. She's really dirty though. Hearts, pencils, Mickey Mouse. I just found I just found these Tory Burch sandals. Oh, the store is closing. Okay. The store is closing early, so because of the rain, I guess.
I gotta go really fast because the store is closing soon. So I'm kind of just going through everything. Let's make a quick run. It took me a second to get everything inside of here, but I got everything inside. It's closed up. And now, I just, this is kind of hard, huh? Okay, hold on. Let's set that down really quickly because I want to see, oh, that's, this is interesting. Man, it's already, I can't believe it, I took forever over at Marshall's. Um, and now the store's already closing, so I'm kind of sad, but it's okay. Hold on, I did want to see. These are so cute and tiny. Casati Fine Porcelain. Okay. Oh, iridescent something. Oh, this mug. Follow your heart. That's cute, but I already see a chip in it, so I don't even want to look. Oh, these are cool. Did they say any? No, they're not anything. This little teacup is really cute. It has like the double barrel. But there's only one. It's $1.99. But it is super duper cute. I wonder if there's like at least another one. You know, like I said, a two would be pretty fun. I think this is, well, I don't know what that says. Oh, this one is, oh, Mika. Oh, that, no, is that a Mika? Uh, the store is closing in 20 minutes. Oh, the store is closing in 20 minutes. The store will be closing the next 20 minutes. Thank you so much and have a great night. All the announcements are stressing me out. Okay, I gotta finish. I wanna like go check out already so I can go. I think I actually wanna go to Target maybe or maybe I should just head home. But yeah, the rain is starting to pour a little bit more intensely. Oh, wait, hold on. This is Pampered Chef over here. For sure, this is like a nice baking dish. Oh, this is only eight bucks. Oh, it's like brand new. Like, yeah, this, I don't think this has ever been used. It looks like it was just sitting in storage. Ooh, eight bucks. I don't need that. I have a bunch of those though. But though, if you ever see Pampered Chef, especially the enamel ones, pick it up. They're really, really good. They work really well. No, Wilson yeah, Allen. Hydro. Oh, this is a hydro flask. Ten bucks. No, yeah. This is actually pretty good. It just has a little dents on the bottom, but that's not the worst. Do they have any other ones? That's Hydra Flow. Ooh, is that Starbucks? Oh, this is cute. I like this. Five bucks. It like literally looks new too. And it has a little top. Is that the right top though? I don't think it's the right top. I think these usually have like a, oh no, it's missing the plastic. Hmm. <laughs> Should I get this? It looks like mermaid scales, dragon scales or something. Five bucks. I'm thinking about the Hydro Flask, but like maybe no to the Hydro Flask. Yeah, I don't think we need the Hydro Flask. But this is really cute. Should I get this? I'm thinking to sell it though, if anyone's interested. This is really cute. I've never seen this design either. I am at another Home Goods, and this little trough thing is. Literally so cute. It's $99 though. But there's two of them. I have to send a photo to my mom. This is so singing cute. I think they're on, yeah, they're on sale. These would be $130. These are really, really cute. What do you guys think? Like, these are really adorbs. Oh, these are cute too. Look at this. Jack Skellington. That one is 20 bucks. Oh, this store has a lot of cute stuff. I got a cart. I need to push my umbrella in because it is wet. 
so many cute things. I wonder what we'll find. This store? I've never actually been to this particular location before. And this is a Marshalls Home Goods, not a TJ Maxx Home Goods. I don't know if that makes a difference. I know they're like the same store. Oh, this is a cute pillow. Now that is nice and it's so comfy too. But Hadrian doesn't need more pillows. 25 bucks. That is that is nice. I think I need a photo of this so I can remember it. I hate spiders, but I love the look. These are fun too, but these are scratchy. Oh wait, look at this pillow. I think I saw that one at my home goods. That one's cool. That one, see that one kind of goes with the pillow that I had, the Hocus Pocus one. So I was kind of thinking about that. What does that say? Um, oh, Happy Halloween. Owl is kind of fun. I'm overwhelmed. There's too many cute things. Do you think we'll find one of those blankets though? I forgot to look. Now if I found a blanket, that would like be truly amazing. Come on. Has anyone found one of those blankets, by the way? One of the Hello Kitty, like Sanrio Halloween blankets? Because that would be so, oh, oh, oh wait, why is this pretty? I kind of like this. It's kind of like, it kind of has the vibe of like these anthropology pillows that I'm obsessed with and are like a hundred dollars. How much is this? Forty dollars. Those are really pretty pillows. Oh, Hadrian could get in trouble in this store, that's for sure. Why does this say? Beauty is where you find it, not just where you bump and grind it. They have such funny decor things here. They have like all these statues of frog doing yoga. Oh, they had this one at my home goods too. This giant, it's like that giant magnifying glass with like the horn handle. Oh, sometimes it's so overwhelming to see everything all at once, isn't it? But it's so much fun. Oh, look at this horse thing, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm a sucker for a horse statue. I honestly don't even know where to look. <laughs> There's so much stuff. Hey, this store has cards. I don't think my local store has cards in it. That's kind of cool. They have the mushroom cookie jars here. How much is this? Oh, this is only eight bucks. That is not a bad price for this. It's so cute. It's like a little house too. Oh, they have like crusade mugs. Oh, I love that they have the different sizes. Oh, that's only seven bucks. Nice. I, I, I thought this was a mushroom, but it's actually a candle holder. So it goes like that and isn't like this. But I mean, it could be a mushroom. Whoa, they have all the glassware. Oh, look at this. Iridescent owl, some flowers, a fish. Oh, they have these at West Elm and they're so expensive. This is only $25. This is cute. That's cute. I just found a mushroom. This is a little $8 one. I guess it's on sale. It used to be $10. $9.99. It's heavy. It's cute, but... This is so cute. Cream and sugar. It's $7.99. I feel like that's not that bad. But I'm just like going crazy over here.
so adorable. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today when we went out. It, it's currently raining right now. It's been raining like on and off this whole day, but it started raining really, like a really strong, like just within the past like hour or two. And yes, yeah, so luckily like during the day when, we, when I was out, the rain was very, very mild and it was not like too crazy though i know in some parts it has been really nuts like in palm springs it's like flooding i'm sure there's flooding in la it is just nuts right now um but yeah so but uh we went to a bunch of different places today and also yesterday i did go to crossroads but i didn't film anything so i'll show you guys what i got from crossroads at the end but i'll show you guys what i got today we went to goodwill we went to different uh ross and home goods stores and we went to uh oh i also took a quick detour to target as well so let me show you guys what i ended up picking up and let me show you guys what i got from the goodwill i did end up getting this really cute portland mug from this is a starbucks one and yeah this was $2.99 it's from 2002 I know this collection is retired this is like the from the uh, this is from the skyline series I don't think they make these anymore so I got this Portland one city of roses I've never actually been to Portland I would love to go. We might have driven through Portland at one point, but um, I don't think we ever stopped because we were going up north to Canada. And I picked this up, two ninety nine. It was a great deal. I wanted to get that other Starbucks cup. I didn't end up getting it though. I should I have gotten it? I, should, I didn't even look it up because I didn't have time. Sometimes those cups are super collectible, and I didn't look it up. So if it was collectible, tell me so I can cry about it later on. All right, then I picked these up because they were a dollar each. I feel like they're always a dollar. I feel like you can get these from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, but I just saw them, so I picked them up because I always forget to buy the fake spider webs, and then they sell out come Halloween time. So I picked up two bags, and I learned that I really only need two bags. A little goes a long way with this stuff, and so I got two bags of these right there oh this was so cool i i had to pick up the chest and i think it's like checkers right checkers oh no oh no 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 okay i think there's also like a little backgammon thing inside and i don't know if this was like I, it has to have been handmade right like i don't know any other way but they are so cool. Like, the little pieces are amazing. I counted all the pieces. Like, everything is here. And I think, like, my dad, I think, would really like this. My, uh, my dad, my brother, and Cade, like, really like chess. I enjoy chess, too. I don't play as avidly as they do. But I have the best chess board collection in the family i have like this really amazing like marble board which i love and that one's actually on display in one of my um what is it called it's kind of like a side table and it's glass on top and i feel like i might if this fits in the other table i think i might put this one inside of that one too so that way i can have chess boards in both sides and i think this would be so cool i almost want to save it for like a present for my dad for like a birthday or something but his birthday's already passed so I'm trying not to like mess up the pieces too much. But that was such a cool find. I can't believe it was only $15. I have to look that up and see how much that would actually cost. Because I feel like it would actually be pretty expensive, right? Like, I, but I wouldn't know what to even search. Let's see. Let's see if I can find anything kind of like similar. Mm, no, I'm not finding anything yet. But I feel like it would be like expensive. But who knows? I honestly have no clue. They have some amazing chess boards, though. Like, so, so cool. Ooh, this hand-carved one is really cool. This is from Etsy. How cute is this? That one's like 30 bucks. Now I'm questioning whether this one... Oh, wait, this is it! This is... I think this is exactly it, actually. <gasps> this is it! Okay! I can't believe I actually found it. So, this is the piece... And it says it's a vintage Balinese Semka hand-carved art wood chest checkers backgammon 
set. And this person has it on, it's on sale for $84.97 plus $40.70 for shipping. Whoa. It was originally $100, $99.97. That is crazy. I wonder if there's any other ones like this. I thought it would probably be like around that price because this thing is like, it looks pretty nice. And I don't know. I'm pretty excited. I'm I'm really excited. I found it. It's be it's a beautiful set. All the pieces are there, so I'm really happy. Um, and then I got one last thing at the Goodwill, and it is this pair of J W Anderson Converse, and these are so fabulous. They actually fit me. I don't normally wear like high tops because I feel like I have like this thing with like my ankles and being confined in shoes. But I can try these out because I have kind of gotten used to like boots. So I feel like this might be the same thing. It's just, it's fabric. I'm dramatic, I know. But these are really cool. I love them. And I got these for 20 bucks. They're not in bad shape either. I feel like they just need a good cleaning and they'll be good to go. You probably, I could probably just throw these into the wash. Like Converse are so easy to clean. But I got this, very excited. And I think that was the last thing that I got from the Goodwill. Now for what I got at Target. I literally, okay, I don't remember these being that expensive. I thought these were like five, around like $5, maybe $6 tops each, but these were like 10 something each. But I picked up two of my um, aquifer, I, 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 I use these as chapsticks, but they're uh, immediate relief for chapped chafed skin avocado oil and shea butter enriched so picked up two of these they're fantastic i am obsessed with them they're always 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 sold out and i have been to many targets recently and i've been looking to see if they had these and they do not and i finally found them so i picked these up very excited um i don't know if i'm gonna do one as a giveaway i might do one as a giveaway um but the other one i need to like hoard in case i run out of mine <laughs> but honestly it lasts for so long because i've had the one that i've been using since i don't know why i lie because i have two i have one that i keep in just like in my room and I have one that I keep in my bag. But I've had the two and I've been, I use them interchangeably uh, since at least the beginning of this year, maybe the end of last year. So they've had, I've, I've had them for a while. They last a long time. So I feel like that's totally worth it, right? Like I should actually check to see how much I have left. Uh, so got those, they're fantastic. I highly recommend these if you can find them. They're large, but I feel like they, these are the best things I've ever used. And I use a lot of chapstick. My lips are literally always dry. Slash, backslash, I'm addicted to chapstick. Though I feel like these don't get me addicted like old chapstick used to. I feel like this really just helps my my lips. And yeah, okay, I'm, enough talking about that. Then we went to Ross. And first of all, I've been looking for one of these for so long. And it is the Raspberry skinny syrup and I hope this tastes delicious because I've been looking for a raspberry flavor forever and um Starbucks has discontinued or like no longer carries a raspberry syrup so they don't they don't, no longer have raspberry drinks and I love raspberry flavored drinks so I'm pretty excited about this we'll see how it tastes I'll let you guys know if it's good I need to buy some more this was four dollars uh over at it was at E a uh, Ross? No, a Marshalls Home Goods. I don't know what the difference is. Like TJ Maxx and Marshalls are like the same, right? So I got that. Then I got this, and it, I thought it was sixteen dollars. Kind of a little sixteen dollar thing inside, and like there were other cauldrons too that were sixteen dollars. But I guess this one was not. This one was like forty dollars, and I had a little bit of a shock when um they told me the price. But I was like, it's so cool. I really wanted like a cool looking cauldron for. Halloween this year and I just I don't know I want to do something kind of fun this year for Halloween and like decorate the house I think the kids um, I think we'll probably throw like a little party for them they I feel like they're finally settled into school now because it was kind of like weird when they were all like um, doing virtual school and stuff and then especially Lizo he finally has like friends and it's just like really cute to see him being so excited to go to school and all that stuff and his friends invite him to go places and they invite like we invite his friends and yeah 
So I think like last year we had a Halloween party. This year we probably will too. I want to kind of decorate the house a little bit more than I did last year. And especially the library. I kind of want to do something kind of like Harry Potter. What is that called? Like a Harry Potter. Like their little study area in Harry Potter. I want to do something like that. And I want to incorporate like Studio Ghibli stuff into it too. So I got the cauldron. I want to see, like I want to figure out a way to make like a calcifer thing underneath. You know, calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. So I don't know, I was thinking, playing with the idea of like um red, orange, and yellow, like cellophane or something underneath. And then making it look like a fire. And then like somehow getting calcifer's face on there. I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out. If anyone has any ideas, let me know. I was also thinking felt, but I wanted it to be like more fire like and I was gonna put like some tea lights or something inside to make it light up or fairy lights or something I don't know but we'll see we'll see what we can think of <laughs> but I got that and oh this is the last thing that I got um from Ross and this is okay it's one of these LED face light things I've always been interested in one of these and this one it's like you wear it like this and then the lights turn on and you can do stuff. So I thought this would be really interesting and cool. So I need to charge it up and figure out how to use this thing. So that way I can use it on my skin. Glow. Use for 15 minutes once or twice a day. Thank you for your purchase. I don't know. Oh, it has three different colors. I can do blue, red, and yellow. Red is supposed to be like good for like collagen and skin elasticity. Da, 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 da. Blue, I think, is for like pimples and acne and stuff. I don't know what the yellow color is for, but this is interesting. I definitely need to try this out. I don't think this has any charge right now. Yeah, it doesn't have a charge right now. So I'm, I'm def- Oh! It does! Oh my gosh. Blue! Should I do the rest of this video like this? No. But that's cool. Okay. I'm excited. It turns on. We know it works. Okay. I was a little worried. I was like, well, I hope it's not broken. So that is very exciting. I'm definitely going to use this tonight. Let's see how that goes. If any of you guys use like any like light therapies or anything, let me know. I almost got suckered into buying a more expensive version of that on TikTok. And this one was only $12. It was literally on clearance. So I picked it up. I think it's because the box is damaged and it's missing the little cord. But I have one of those anyway. So it's fine. So I got that. Uh, I think that was the last thing that I got from Raw. Now for what I got at Crossroads. So I got a couple things. A couple items have already sold. So I don't have them with me anymore. Um, they were in the live sale from the other night. So it's always best if you want to see like what I have that's like the newest uh, to join one of the live sales. Or you can watch the live sales from Saturday night. And those I, I shop and thrift and source the whole day for Saturday. And I try to just do all new items that night. So um, you would have seen that there. But... I do have a couple cool things left still. This one is a vintage Yves Saint Laurent wallet. It's so cute. It has like the little things right here on the side to like put a pen and then that way you can keep it closed like this. Um, This might have been for like a little mini address book or notebook or something, but you can definitely just put like your cards and some cash inside of here and use it as a wallet. I got this for $32.50 and it's cool. It's still, it's still in pretty good shape. It has Yves Saint Laurent stamped right there. And it has like this cool like Y monogram design throughout embossed on there. And then I got this. Oh, it is stuck. Oh, wait, did, is this from that night? I don't even remember if I, I think I did get this from that day from yesterday. Um, This is a oh, wait, did I anyway, Zach Posen. I have this mini Zach Posen wallet on a chain crossbody bag. Super cute. Gold hardware. Crossbody strap. Movable. It has a pocket. It's, it's big enough for cards. Maybe like your AirPods and stuff. Um, but it's small. But really, really cute. And this one was $28. Then I picked up this Fear of God Essentials sweater. This rain has got me like in my winter vibes already and it is like I know that when it stops raining it's gonna be like back in the 90s but I'm just like thinking already about my winter wardrobe I love sweaters so much I don't know why I just love feeling like comfy and this okay I got this for $28 which I feel like is a steal for this 
The reason is, is because it's like stained, like all over the front. I am, I am, uh, I'm pretty sure that my mom can help me remove all the stains. She's like a whiz with laundry. She can like remove any stains. So I'm hopeful that she'll be able to help me remove all the stains from that. Cause whenever I find like troublesome stains and stuff on clothing pieces that I thrift or whatever, she always can help me get it out. So I'm hopeful that I, I'm I think it's it just needs like a good wash I feel like I feel like it doesn't really even re really need anything next up this is a Rothy's tote bag this is an orange I really like the color of this actually I think it's really really cute and I just love like a good tote also this one also does still have the tags attached which is great I just don't have like the dust bag or anything else to go with it but um there's the interior there's no pockets or anything on this either it does have this little uh, thing right here for like your keys this actually would be good to use like when it's raining right yeah this would have been good and this one was $24 which is a deal because Rothy's totes are honestly so expensive and I love this color a lot actually now I kind of like want to keep it okay so the piece de resistance though of what I got this past weekend oh my gosh I'm like it's so humid and I could feel like the humidity or I don't know if it's the like humidity or like the heat it's just like weird I feel like I'm in the Philippines right now I'm in like the twilight zone I have this amazing Hermes bomber jacket it's so cool it has this horse design in like blue, white, gray, and black on one side. And it's actually reversible. So you can turn it inside out and the interior is in navy. It's so, so nice. Silver hardware. I think it's a size 48. It fits like a men's like medium. It does fit me. So I'm really excited about that. I feel like it might be just like a, a, a smidge like on the tighter side though I can like still wear it like comfortably I would just like it to be like a little bit larger like I, I like a baggier fit for a jacket but for Hermes like honestly I live with it whenever like when am I ever gonna get another one of these again these resale at around this same exact like design particular one um, has sold recently for nine hundred and a thousand dollars. So the resale on this is really expensive, and I managed to grab this for uh, about four hundred dollars with tax. So it is amazing, and it's in such good condition. I was like a little shook over it. So I don't know. I I'll see if anyone's interested in this. But if not, I'm not going to be sad to keep it in my collection because it's a beautiful piece. I cannot believe I have like an Hermes bomber jacket. Like that is so cool. Like amazing. Ah, it's so, so cool. It's just so expensive. Like literally the most expensive jacket I own. But that is it for today. I hope you guys had fun checking out stores with me and seeing what I found. It's all, I feel like going to like home goods and stuff is so much fun with you guys. I love taking you guys there. And I feel like we need to do that more often. So if you guys like that, let me know. Check out the new video. It goes up tomorrow by nearly at 7 a.m. The next live sale will be linked as well. And um, you can, oh, Every Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time, I do have a live sale, but I do sprinkle in live sales during the week and I change up the times. Sometimes I'll do them in the morning, evening, and then like later on and um, at nighttime. Um, so just make sure to subscribe, hit that little bell notification button so you're notified when new videos and lives happen. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, bye guys.